Good morning. Good morning. We're talking with Carolyn Hartman, and I'm beating things up over here. And you're from Mackinac. And now tell me exactly what, what you're in charge of. Oh, well, I work for the Mackinac State Historic Parks. Okay. And that includes Fort Mackinac and Mackinac Island State Park on Mackinac Island, and then Colonial Michelin Mackinac and Historic Mill Creek in Mackinac City. Okay. So you're, you're like in charge of a lot of stuff. Well, yeah. I'm, that's, I'm I mean, that's a pretty good size island, you know. Oh, well, we're... I work for Mackinac Island State Park, yeah, which know, is eighty percent of the island. Okay. Oh, really? Yes. Only eighty percent. Yes. So that's that's you know the other the other thirty percent. That's no, no. the other twenty uh, percent is mostly the downtown Mackinac Island area. Okay. Um, and my mathematics is really bad. I I said thirty, <laughs> didn't I? Oh, okay. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> it's early, right? Yeah. Right. Okay, so you're only in charge of 80%, so that's not a problem. I mean, yeah, the person that's charged of 20% probably has much more head headaches than you have, right? Well, he's got all the downtown area, which is oh, bustling course. with activity that's all true. summer. There you go. Okay, so will you take what, are the care of the, care of the horse carriages and stuff then, is that what you're saying? Well, we're in charge <laughs> of the historic sites, uh, okay. Fort, historic Fort Mackinac on uh -huh. Mackinac Island, okay. um, where we have demonstrations every day. We have rifle firings. We have soldiers in 1880s American military costumes, and we have... Uh, you know, our reenactors there every day. We have women um, that are dressed also in period costume, and they do kids programs um, from June 15th to Labor Day. And right now we have all, all the 14 original buildings open up for people to tour okay. in the fort. Okay, you know, because when I was there, I was, I was a kid, of course. It's been so long since I've been to uh, Mackinac. And um, you, I didn't really know, my parents and all didn't really know where to go in right. to these different areas because... You know, they, you really don't know unless you're you're there and you set everything up beforehand. So, right. could, is there a way to do that so you can set up to, to where you want to go and what you want to do? Sure. Um, there's lots of you know we can send out information from the Mackinac State Historic Parks. We have a um, calendar of events that lists all of our events through the whole year, and we're happy to send it out to anybody who requests it. Okay. And also, the Mackinac Island Chamber of Commerce has all kinds of events going on, including the Lilac Festival and things throughout the year. Okay. Don't you think that would be a better thing to do then, is to, to set things up, is to get a, uh, something from you so that way they can set it up to sure, what they want to do and where they want to go? Sure, exactly when they want to come and what's happening when, and right. you know they can kind of plan their trip ahead of time if they want to. Okay. And especially this year, what's important for us is it's the 100th anniversary of Mackinac Island State Park. So saying. we're having lots of special centennial events going right. on. Okay. So uh, lots of gun shooting and fireworks, right? Oh yes. Okay. <laughs> Lots of fun. Okay, so you, um, what what's the big thing coming up? Is is there a big thing happening for Memorial Weekend then, or what? Well, actually, in Mackinac City, um, the big thing happening there this weekend is the Memorial Weekend Pageant, uh -huh. um, and that's where they have a community reenactment of historic events that took place at uh, the fort in 1763. Okay. Um, so they have a parade. They have the reenactment Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, so that's a really big community program going on, and uh, the public is invited. Everyone is invited. Okay, so since, since it's Sunday, Saturday morning, they can still make it down there and, and catch most of the events that are going on. Then, yeah, people. the the parade is at one o'clock, and then the the pageant actually is at three thirty. Okay. So they've got plenty of time to get up here. There you go. So make a nice long, especially you know, get get out of this icky weather we're having here right now. Maybe it's, it's a little nicer over there? It's really sunny and blue and warm up here. Okay. All right. See, there you go. <laughs> There's the opportunity for you to get out of this gloominess here. Yeah, we hope it stays this way. Yeah, really. Okay. Um, so th that's one of the events coming up. Are you going to keep us... Can you keep us up to date on maybe possibly sure. what's coming up through... We'll uh, keep you up to date. We've got events going on all, you know, practically every weekend all summer long. So okay. So we'll keep you up to date. Okay, Carolyn, so maybe I can just uh, contact you uh, maybe on a weekly basis or bi-weekly basis on what's, what's happening uh, in Mackinac. That sounds great. Okay. Well, thanks for talking with me today. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Home source cards accepted. Good morning. Good morning, Oscar. How are you? This is Lee Isuko, and you're from Muskegon. You're the uh, caricaturist of Muskegon, I, should, I, think, I think. I think you're the only caricaturist of Muskegon. Well, yeah. I don't know about that. The most visible one, anyway. Sometimes. We see you everywhere. Sometimes. Yeah, okay. Okay, now, Lee, you and I go back a little bit because um, <laughs> you were my teacher at one point. Uh, oh, well, four years ago? Four or five years ago, we figured? Over at Baker College. Yeah, Baker, Co Baker College. Yeah, okay. You uh, you taught me well. <laughs> oh, that's good to know. Will you, will you take credit for that? I'll take credit from whatever for, source I can get it. For anything, right? Okay. <laughs> All right, well, you know, I, 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 you passed me anyway. Put it that way, so... You survived uh, me. That's what it amounts to. What's that? You survived me. I so, exactly. You're tough. You are tough. You're a tough teacher. 
So if you go to Baker College and you t- you have uh, Lee Suko's class, you're going to have a you're going to have a tough teacher, but an entertaining teacher because during the whole time when you were teaching me, you uh, you do your caricatures and stuff to uh, you know just kind of like for diagrams to show you what how things uh, work, right? Oh, I guess you're talking about those uh, overhead slides or yeah, transparencies. Okay. Right. Yeah, I use a lot of that. Okay, now I I saw Lee uh, last week over at the um, Muskegon Community College for the Mayfest, and you were doing something there. What exactly was that about? Well, we had a display put up again, as we have most every year for a while now, called the Cartoonists of West Michigan. Okay. But unfortunately, my partners couldn't be there, and so I was the cartoonist of West of Michigan, West Michigan see, this, told, this year. See, I told you you were the cartoonist of West Michigan. You were the caricaturist of West Michigan. See? Well, I had <laughs> in the display, though, a lot of drawings done by friends of mine all around the country. Okay. So far beyond West Michigan. Oh, okay. Computer buddies, we exchange drawings. Oh, really? By, we send them back and forth by U.S. mail, but we communicate Oh, you don't, you don't, uh, through the Okay, so you don't fax them anything. You don't fax them or anything, you just... No. Okay. Yeah, okay, I suppose that would t- kind of take away from it a little bit, too. You faxed it in. Yeah, yeah. take away some of our money. I don't have the money to pay oh, for a fax go. machine. <laughs> there you go. Um, my, my son is one of your biggest fans. Of course, every time he sees you and whatever um, place you, you're at, he always stays there the whole time. We always know where we can find Nathan because he's over watching watching Lee draw his pictures. So. Mm-hmm. Nathan Osbro, the artist. Yeah, yeah. Well, he wants to be. He wants to be. And um, when we talked before, we talked about um, how Nathan... Uh, got a, it was like the last three, four years they've gotten characters drawn by you and like my daughter has one of uh, her